when it comes to nitrogen applications. Here's my recommendations to, to figure out how much nitrogen you need to apply. At your state, go to the university and pull up the extension publications because those are going to be largely uh, updated or more recent. And if there's any laws that restrict nitrogen applications in your state, they're going to account for that. So whether it's the rate of nitrogen or whether it's the time of year you can apply nitrogen, the extension bul bulletins and publications will account for those laws. So if you're in Texas or California or Florida or Georgia or wherever it is, you can't just say, oh, I'll do this because in your state it might be illegal. So I would go to the university, find the publications on nitrogen applications to, you know, whatever, the hay grass or St. Augustine grass, find it, and then you're going to see, see some ranges. Those ranges are instituted for a very specific reason, which I can go into later, but there's a range, let's say two to four pounds of nitrogen. I would look at that and say, that's the total amount for the year that I need to apply, that I am allowed to apply two to four pounds of nitrogen. Let's just say that. And then at your location, at your, on your golf course or your sod farm or your lawn or whatever, I would self-calibrate. I would be putting out for the growing season. Let's say you're growing season six months. I would be putting out, if, and you say, I want to apply nitrogen every two months versus say, I want to apply nitrogen every one month or whatever. I would take the, that growing season and I would divide the number of months by the total amount of nitrogen that you can apply or the other way around. So you know how much nitrogen you can apply each month. And then say you're applying nitrogen at half a pound a month for six months, that's three pounds a year. And you realize I'm mowing the grass every week. I don't want to do this. You know, I can't keep up with it. Then you can self calibrate that and move the nitrogen rate down a little bit for the following season or the end of the end of the season you're in now. But you start with the ranges from the university. So, cause you know, those are probably going to be legal to apply or they will be legal to apply. And then within those ranges, you can fidget with the numbers up or down monthly or bi-monthly, however you want to do it, such that you can meet the expectations that you're looking for, the growth rate or the quality or whatever it might be in, at your home or on your golf course. 